Hey guys, Dr. Taylor here at the Wellness Center. Obviously with COVID, we can't do our normal workshop, so we have to back up and do them all individually. Um, so we want to have some stuff. They're going to be on our YouTube channel. Of course, we're going to paste everything on Facebook, so you can go back and watch it if you need to. Um, we want to talk about nutrition today, and we're going to use the bow words we call inflammation. All right. So we want to talk about what the popular press and everything is saying about inflammation. And there are a couple key things we need to know. Number one, that inflammation has been characterized as a secret killer. A couple things I want you to know is that inflammation has been uh, caused, promotes cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's, and other diseases. Um, basically, I want to make sure you understand that a lot of this research is going to come out of Canada and Germany. I hope you understand that those two guys have health care that is actually paid for by the government. And it's not a billion dollar business like it is here in the U.S. So what we want to talk about is how... Uh, behavioral treatment for chronic disease, which is chronic inflammation, basically goes back to the same things we're always talking about. Um, weight loss and exercise training, all right? So these are some key factors. We're going to try to make this short because it's going to be hard to stay and pay attention to and you're not here. And I know we all like to drift off on the video, so I'm trying my best to keep it short and sweet. But here's what we need to know. Inflammation is characterized by a couple things. Increased body fat, smoking, low physical activity, poor aerobic fitness, meaning aerobic means you can't walk to the mailbox and back without getting out of breath. That's aerobic fitness, a low fruit and vegetable intake, and a low omega-3 fasted intake. And we're going to talk a lot about omega-3 fatty acids here in just a second. All right. So we want to talk about these are some diseases that are caused or promoted by inflammation. Osteoarthritis or joint pain, um, age-related disabilities, Alzheimer's, diabetes, stroke, coronary artery disease and congestive heart failure. So basically you want to talk about this, um, but basically inflammation is very similar to the whole body and the way it affects people who have heart disease, all right? So we're all predisposed genetically to certain diseases, all right? Um, I have a sense of amount of heart disease in my family. My wife's family has cancer in hers. Everybody has different things. So look at mom and dad and what they got, and we're trying to avoid you getting that, okay? All right. So this is what you need to know. They are two essential nutrients. An essential nutrient is something that we have to eat. All right? Make sure you understand it. It's something we have to eat. Our body cannot make this. Okay? So there's omega-3 and an omega-6 fatty acids. Okay? Omega-6 are bad. Omega-3 is a good. 6 bad. 3 is good. All right? These fatty acids are in every cell membrane of your body. Okay? So we got muscle cells, brain cells, nerve cells. So really we are what we are what we eat. Alright, so omega-6 fatty acids are inflammatory, and this is where they come from. They come from corn oil, sunflower oil, cottonseed oil, soybean oil, grains, and packaged foods. Okay? Omega-3s are good stuff. They're going to come from fish, fish oil, wild game, grass-fed animals, green vegetables, flax seeds, and I know you remember the chia pet. Same thing. Alright, so this is what we want to eat, guys. We want a ratio of one to one, of omega-3s, okay, to omega-6s. So fruit has a ratio of three to one, uh, green vegetables is one to one, white potatoes three to one, sweet potatoes four to one, grass-fed meats two to five to one, wild game, fresh fish, and then farm-raised salmon, um, same thing, about one to one. These are things we also can eat. Nuts are really good for us, just so we know a peanut's not a nut, it's a legume, so a peanut does not fall in this category. We're talking almonds, pistachios, um, cashews, that kind of good stuff. Grain-fed meat has a ratio of 7 to 1. And here we start getting up here. Soybean oil, 15 to 1. Um, and we go up. All right, this is what I want you to understand. So cereals, breads, and pastas have a ratio of 21. Potato chips are 60 to 1. And anything that's fried. So it's going to be 70 to 100 to 1. Okay? So if it comes out of a box, it's going to promote inflammation. If you get nothing out of this workshop, listen to me, all right? If you eat foods that come out of a bag, when you go to the grocery store, if you shop around the outside of the grocery store, you're going to get good stuff. If you start going up and down the middle, you're going to get garbage, you're going to promote inflammation, it's going to make you hurt, okay? So save you some money, eat healthy, all right? Now, I'm not going to bore you to death, but I want sure you understand a couple things here, okay? Um, we make this chemical called from boxin A2, which is promotes inflammation and carries it out through your body. Okay? Um, we have special diets here at the office. If you have more questions, 
please come by, ask us about it. We're glad to explain to you more about it. We have a workshop um, form we fill out, and we're glad to set you up. If you have questions, you can talk to me directly. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, Henderson Wellness Center, 252-430-8000, 414 Dabney Drive. Thanks so much.